let me get something out the way real quick before we start this video. If you guys want to record in 4K, if that is something that you are aspiring to do, the link for this capture card is in the description. Don't click the link yet. Wait until my review is over to make your decision. What's up everybody, it's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Elgato 4K60 Pro. Quick disclaimer for those who are here just because you're a fan of the channel. This video is about an internal capture card that is for gaming and streaming PCs. Now, I'm not going to tell you to leave, but if you want to learn more information about this, whether you're trying to become a gaming YouTuber or anything like that, stick around. We'll be here all night. So, for those who are here to learn more about this 4K capture card, the first thing you need to know is you have to to have a PC. You cannot use this with the laptop, guys. This is an internal PCI interface capture card. That means you have to have a PC, and not only that, your PC has to be a beast. All right, I'm gonna list off one thing that is gonna let you know if this video is for you. In order to use this, you have to have at least an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 anything. Yes, I'm not saying like no eights, no 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 sixes, no sevens, no nines. You have to have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 at least. The second thing that you guys need to know, you have to have an extra PCI slot. If you have a gaming PC and you do not at least have four PCI slots, it's a GG. Last but not least, you at least have to have an Intel Core i7 starting in the 6000s. I have a 6700K, so if you're not in this ballpark, this video might not be for you. If you want your gaming experience recording to run smoothly without crashing, I don't think this video is for you, bro. But if it is, welcome. I wanted to make the traditional unboxing where I show the box the entire time cut it open with my handy dandy knife, probably do a little voiceover or something like that. But I'm gonna speed this process up because every time Elgato drops a product, it's really never too much in a box. It's the essentials that are always in the box. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's get into this box real quick, guys. So real fast, I'm just gonna cut off these tops. All right, let me put this knife down real fast. All right, so this, this box is really easy to open, man. Nothing really to it, guys. All right, let me flip this bad boy over. Okay, look, outer box going. All right, looks like we have to cut open some slits here real quick. All right, it was only three slits, one here, one here, one here, and voila, the box is open. Now, I'm just gonna read what's on this box real quick, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna read this. So it says, download the Elgato game capture software to get started. It's at elgato.com slash gaming slash download. Okay, and it also gives you a couple of cute little pictures on how to install this PCI. All right, so real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out the box. This is the actual capture card. Now, what I'm going to do is I have an iPhone. What is this? It's not an 8. 7 Plus, right? This is what I'm going to do. This is my iPhone 7 Plus and the PCI. All right, so if you guys want to get a gist of how it looks side by side, this is an iPhone 7 Plus and this PCI, bro. Comes with a nice little, uh, I don't know, a little design here from Elgato, which is pretty good. Uh, it has 4K 60 Pro on it. Uh, it has a little Elgato sign here. And, oh, also, the in and out I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe once I get a little bit closer. Uh, something else they put in here. Uh, looks like they put like a little Elgato sticker. So I'm guessing you can probably put this wherever you want. Um, it has 3M tape on it. So yeah, that's cute. And it comes with a HDMI cord. And that's about it. That's the only things that are in the box. Besides this like, please do not or this will happen. Now that I have all the pieces unboxed. Oh my God, it was so many pieces. It's time to install this onto my PC. My PC is behind me, it's been behind me this entire time, but now I want you guys to come on over and see what it's like inside. All right, now that we're in the PC, let's go ahead and install this Elgato capture card real quick, man. First thing you guys need to know is make sure you guys take off the PCI bracket that is on the back of your computer if you have one. 
Now, to let you know if you're installing it the right way, the Elgato logo is always supposed to face outward from the side of your actual PC. So just to let you guys know, the in and out port is always supposed to face the back of your PC, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this bad boy in. It's not really hard at all, guys. All right, cool. Now this Elgato logo is actually lit right now. So I just turned off my uh, ring light just to show you guys the Elgato logo is supposed to be lit when you actually plug it in. Literally, it's lit. Like, this is what it's supposed to look like. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on because I'm scared of the dark. All right, guys, now that the 4K60 Pro is installed into my PC, I want to show you guys actual 4k gameplay but before we hop into that i want to talk to you about the program that comes with this 4k 60 pro and the lack thereof different things that you would see in the game capture hd program what you guys are currently looking at is gameplay that i am playing on my playstation 4 right now this is a computer versus computer phillies versus sons yes my sixes are up but we're, that we're not here to talk about that but what i want to show you guys is this is currently 4K, 60 frames per second. All right, now let's just look at the capture window for a minute. Now remember what I said, this is not game capture HD, which means this is very, very bare bones. The only thing that you have here on the capture window is you can change the title, the game and the tags. You can take a screenshot of said gameplay and you can mute and unmute them audio that means you cannot record your voice inside this app while recording your gameplay you cannot record a face cam inside of this app while you are recording gameplay let's go ahead and go to the settings real quick guys now i'm going to go ahead and pull the settings over here because i know you guys probably still want to see a little bit of that gameplay as far as my device goes you guys know this video is about the 4k 60 pro for hdmi color range i always always have used expand now i can go and use the same as input same as input you think it looks good but i'm telling you right now man the colors on expand are look at the blues man the way the blues look are much different man the faded blue in the bypass is just just insane i don't know man maybe it's just better for my eyes i don't know maybe some people can't see what i can see now as far as my location i always go ahead and export to my um two terabyte hard drive my video encoder if you do have it on automatic you can use your graphics card there's no problem with using my graphics card at all i can use that all day long but what i can also do is use the software that was built in now as far as my format goes yes i'm recording in 4k 60 frames per second but if you are a youtuber and you don't feel like you want to record in 4k that day guess what you can still use this capture card that i am using right now to record in any format across the board when it comes to hd quality so if you say man i don't feel like dealing with the stress of 4k today as far as rendering times editing and the stress on my pc or laptop you can go ahead and record in 720 and you can record in 1080 or you can record in a lower of uh, version as far as bitrate goes 140 megabytes per second that is insane bro and my pc is making it work now i know a lot of people are like bro 61 gigs per hour recording that's what terabyte hard drives are for if you're going to be a content creator you have to have big space hard drives now i know a lot of people are probably thinking why do you have reduced preview resolution during recording i don't think i got to that so just to let you guys know for everybody that has the internal capture card hd60 pro or the hd60s the external capture card you know that you can literally play on your pc screen without having to look at your gaming monitor you you don't even have to turn your gaming monitor on if you have those two capture cards but if you have the 4k 60 pro just like the game capture hd 60 or the game capture hd there is a input lag as far as keeping up with the gaming monitor so your gaming monitor will be a little bit faster 
than your PC monitor does when it shows the gameplay. Now, I'm not sure if Elgato is going to fix this in an update or whatever the case may be, but I believe if you have an internal capture card, there should be no lag. For everybody who is still undecided, I have something for you guys. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put actual gameplay, 4K 60 frame per second gameplay from Call of Duty and NBA 2K18 and let you guys look at the graphics, look at the the actual contrast, look at the sharpness, look at the frames, look at the smoothness, whatever you need to find out if you're ready for 4K or not, will be right here in these gameplay videos. Now, one big thing, I am not trying to sell you guys on something. I am here to let you guys know if it is worth making the upgrade to 4K. So if after you watch this, you say, hey, you know what? It might be worth it. I have a link inside the description to the products you will need to upgrade yourself to 4K gaming. Whether it's a console, whether it's a capture card, whether it's a monitor, everything that you guys will need will be in the description in my Amazon shop. All right. Now, this is your boy IKC signing out. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys hand draw right over to the gameplay and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video make sure you guys leave a like for this video it'll help more people out if you, this video gets out to people and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace domination secure and hold all positions advance and take position <laughs> Capturing Baker. They're taking Abel. Fire the hole. Baker is down. Abel is overrun. Baker's overrun. Capturing Charlie. <laughs> Securing Baker. All in the desert. Now James. They set the pick. Here's Daniels. Off mark there with the three-point shot. And the Suns, they've had so much success as a franchise, Brent, for so long. This is actually their longest playoff drought in team history. Yeah, they've had a ton of playoff consistency and we're unlucky to not ever have won a title, especially during the years with Steve Nash and Mario Stoudemire and Grant Hill was added to that roster. Great talent and a great style under Mike D'Antoni. All those teams came. 
All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.